another day. <sighs> Darn squirrels. Show yourself. What the? You don't look like a garden pest. You, I've never seen you before. You don't look like the type of finches and sparrows we get around here. Yeah, I can understand you. Wait, you can talk? Not mimicry like a parrot. You can actually talk like human conversation. Yeah, I can talk, same as you. Is this your tree? I'm sorry, your big crowberries. Is the only food I found in the wild. Crowberries? These are oranges. Orange? That's a funny word. I thought it was weird when I saw fruit on a tree instead of a bush. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but how are you talking? Birds can't hold conversation. I don't know why I'm talking, I just open my beak and the words come out. But how? I'm getting ahead of myself. My name's Chip. What's your name? I'm Winifred. I'm no only just mad at all, and my mom doesn't like me talking to strangers, but I really need to help. So, you need to go where? The beach. My family all Can't you get there on your own? You know, screw it instinct or whatever? I got lost at land and I can't get to the beach without help. This is my first time migrating and I'm already lost. I'll see if I can drive you there, but how did you get so off course in the first place? <laughs> Hey, you just ran over my vegetable garden! Okay, and? In any case, I'm terribly sorry about that, but what we're looking for is more important than a few, you know, crushed up carrots. We're looking for a long-tailed Jaeger. Have you seen it? What's a Jaeger? Imbeciles, <sighs> I swear. Okay, let me explain this for you in simpleton terms here. It's a black and white seagull-like bird, native to the Arctic Circle, in fact. However, this particular squaw can speak with the cognitive abilities of a human. Do you need me to repeat that? A black and white school that can talk? Chip, can you come here please? Huh. Chip? That's what he said his name was. Seth. Yeah, I'm not sure how he spoke, but he spoke. Well, let's hear it. Come on, Chip. Say something. It's okay. I, I think he's shy. My name is Dr. Watson. How are you doing? I don't think he wants to talk to you. Ah, uh, and why would that be? You said he can talk. I'm not sure. Chip, what's wrong? Winifred, no! Okay, come on here, come on. Yes! Come on. You know, I can I can take him off your hands, this nasty bird. He seems a little aggressive. Chip, what's wrong? I don't think he really likes you. I don't feel comfortable leaving him with you. Oh, what a shame. He's, maybe he's a bit aggressive. You know, I actually, uh, I quite know a lot about birds and uh, especially uh, squaws. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I don't feel comfortable with this. What seems to be the deal? I mean, uh, I could just take him off your hands. I mean, what are you gonna do with him anyway? It, it's okay, I, I can drive him home, release him in the wild. But how do you know exactly where he's meant to be? I mean, I know his kind. Uh, I think he would be better at deciding that since he can speak to me. We need to get you to the beach as soon as possible. Do you know her? That crazy lady stole
stole me off the beach down south when she heard me talk and kept me in a cage for weeks. Humans almost always put birds in cages, Chip. Well, I don't like it. Winifred, you look different. Oh, I just changed my sweater. Anyway, she was only interested in you because you can talk. From what I saw from her, I think she might be a member of the illegal pet trade. What's that? It's someone who captures rare and exotic animals, usually keeping them in really bad conditions, and usually wants to sell them for a lot of money. That sounds about right. She put me in a tiny cage and tied up my wings. How long till we get to the beach? It should take about a day or so. Why? When's your family flying by? Tomorrow, I think. We should probably get there in time. And if we don't? I'm gonna have to try to get back north on my own. I don't even know which way is north. Well... The sea should always be on your left when flying north because the ocean faces west. I hope that helps. I just hope I can keep up with my family without running into that crazy lady again. Me too. Hey, you sound hungry. We should probably get something to eat. Well, what do squirrels eat anyway? Fish, but how are you going to catch a fish on the road? Most places around here that serve fish are really expensive. I can't afford to eat at any of these places. Why not just take the fish from them? Chip, that's a crime. Well, that can't be right. Most restaurants don't allow pets inside, so that could be a problem. Well, that's not fair. Wait a minute. I think I found something. I found a movie theater with a good deal on fish sticks, and it'll be easy to hide you. I can just put you in my sweater pocket. I don't think anyone will see you. This should be good. <laughs> Funny running into you here. Are you enjoying your movie? Okay, real talk. I'm afraid you're going to have to hand the school over to me. Why should I? You said you were keeping him in inhumane environments. No, I never said that. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We don't allow pets in the theater, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> in the lawsuit. But she's crazy. She captured me down south and tried me in her human mess. What if you can't let her take me? Please, I miss my family. I, I don't want to, but this is better for you. We didn't even know what a school was until you showed up. And she's been studying them for years. I'm trying to look out for you, but this... I know it looks that way, but Dr. Watson's actually planning on dissecting him. What? Watson doesn't care about the well-being of her specimens. He just wants some major discovery credited to her name. Then why are you still working for her? I just thought that she was going to show him off in the museum or something until she told me everything apart. I told her I couldn't be a part of that. Where did that idiot put my scalpel? Chip, everything is gonna be okay. What are you doing here? You can't dissect an intelligent creature. That's basically murder. How did you even get in here? Figures, I should have confiscated her key card. Now! What? Ah. Ah. 
Why did you go back for me? You caught me and I didn't want Dr. Watson to hurt you like she hurt me. Why did you come back though? When she took you, it reminded me of something that happened when I was young. Ever since then, I thought everyone I knew would leave me. I didn't want you to have that kind of baggage too. One more thing. Thank you so much for helping me. I'll never forget you, Winifred. I'll never forget you either, Chip. All right, Chip, when I get to the breeding grounds, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't feel like I'm leaving you. Oh, wait, hold on. Here, now that way, she can't follow you. Yukon, Canada? Dear Winifred, I'm back home and I'm very happy. My mom wants to thank you for bringing me home. Oh, guess what? Mom just laid two eggs. I'll tell you all about it in the next letter. Cheers!